Hello again, guys. This is another Lego building challenge with me, Mason. Um, I'm happy to see everyone here and hope a lot of people are gonna tune in. Um, today, we are going to be building a boat and then seeing if it actually floats. So, first thing I always like to do is find a base. Looks like a pretty good base. So my always biggest trick with building a boat is also today there's no time challenge or anything just because that stressed me out a little bit the other day and I'm sure it stressed you guys out too. So you don't need to do that. So first thing I'm doing is finding a nice base. Boop, some big and wide to float on. Then let's put these little accents. So that'll be the front of the boat. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but definitely taking apart all of my older stuff. All of my things from my other challenge have gotten taken apart by now just because I've done a lot of building. Um, I'm making a boat here. Hey, Colin. So yeah, I want to make a boat and then test if they actually float. So I filled up my bathtub upstairs to see if they floated. Uh, you can always fill up a bin with water, a sink or anything. Tons of different ways to see if these things float. But that's the challenge today is to make it actually float. So, I want a little more space on my boat, so I'm adding these sides. And then if you missed it or anything, there's no time today. Just because I felt a little stressed out by the time, trying to get it complete, because, well, none of my builds are that quickly. Everything takes a little bit. So, I took that away. Ooh. So I don't know if you guys can notice, but these are real old, uh, they're not real old, but older Lego um, Star Wars figures. I'm trying to remember what they're called. They're like the walkers. Hey, Michael. So I want to add some of these figures, these sides. And you guys can build your boat any way you want. I usually like a little sleeker military look. So I'm going for the gray, something that's fast and quick. I've also seen people build a lot of like alligator boats, bumblebee kind of things. I usually like to really stick with the color coordination when I have the time though. Thank you for joining. Really hope you guys like this too. I know I love it to just simply play with Legos. So if we can spread that around and all the creativity, that's great. Nice walls. I found a big guy to ride on the boat. So, I don't know if you, one of my older, older Legos from a Lego Miner set, I think he's gonna be the boat driver. So I have to make a place for him to go. It's gonna be harder to stick to this gray color scheme. Hey, Maddie. Okay. 
I don't know if any of you guys have Netflix or anything, but one thing that I really enjoyed was The Toys That Made Us. It's a little documentary series about a bunch of different toys like He-Man, Power Rangers, Legos, and how they actually came to be. It's a really interesting series and it gives a ton of little facts. And it's kid appropriate, which is great. So we have our train conductor on there, or not train, boat conductor, sorry. Trains is another idea I had. Maybe some protection droids on there. Something came up. Boop. Oh, hi, Julie. Yeah, I, I didn't know a lot about He-Man until I watched it, but there are still like huge conventions that go on and it's supposedly, uh, or is the most collected toy out there, which is really cool. Cause I'm, I don't know if you guys know this or anything, but I'm a huge toy and figure nerd. So that was pretty cool. And it has most of the uh, creators can come and talk about it. And most of the toys are actually highly debated on who is like the creator or father of it. A lot of people claim that in the toy community. Um, gave a little trap door, just in case you guys are watching, still paying attention. So that was another cool little tidbit. Cause I feel like most people think of like, oh, there's one like father of GI Joe and the creator of it but there's like two or three people that kind of credit themselves to it. I'm trying to think of some finishing touches for this. Hmm. More passengers. Oop. A guy from the Jack Ryder series, another old Lego. Ooh, found a nice little fin just to top it off at the end. All right, this is gonna be the uh, tricky part. Hi, Sasha. So now we're gonna get really personal and we're actually going to my bathroom because I filled up my bathtub for all of the floating and water adventures. Because, again, I was a big Lego kid, and, well, where's the best place to test if they float but the tub? So. And he sank. He's a little side floater. I don't know if we're going to count that. The droids got wet, so, yeah. But I have some other, I don't want to, ooh, can I turn the camera around? I have some other boats to float in test two so we can start with this the orc cavalry ship all the orc guys going into battle their captain in the front oh they're too heavy their armor weighed them down all right next we have our pony express coming to deliver the mail in these hard times thank you to all those workers that are out there and still doing their job oh it fell apart in my hands. Let's try to see if we can have a redo with that. Dump out the water a little bit. And... Oh, oh, I say it counts. That's a floater. We have one. One previously made boat of mine has floated. So I'm pretty happy about that. Okay. Right. Next one is my jet boat driven by... The dangerous man himself, we'll call him Steve McQueen, in his super fast jet boat. Ooh. Nice. Two floaters. And next we have my, I believe his name was Yaddle the Hutt. He's a baby Jabba the Hutt figure. 
and he is controlling the green machine, the boat that never stops growing. And, oh, it was too top heavy. And he took a drink. Thank goodness he knows how to swim. And last but not least, because oof, family fun is a must. My mom was building these with me last night and she built a duck boat, which I think was pretty cool. Chewbacca the driver, dragon on top, and Harry Potter's coming to take a look around Boston, see all the cool sights. So let's see if her duck boat floats. Oh, it was too top heavy. So I think that's something I've learned today is that we have to make the boats spread out so they don't get too top heavy and flip over. And thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate it. Keep building Legos. Please post your uh, creations that you've made. I'd love to see if your boats can sink or swim. But yeah, have a good day. Stay safe and stay positive. See you later, guys.